guys. So sorry if you hear little puppy noises in the background. We did adopt a dog about a month ago. Um, she's just kind of around underfoot and she's a little bit anxious because I've been out all morning and I am the only one home. So yes, sorry if you hear that. Um, today I'm bringing you my September book haul. My September book haul is a combination of things. It was my birthday so I bought myself some books for my birthday. Um, I also received some gift cards so I bought books with that. Um, and I also got books for my birthday from some lovely people and then also was sent a few books from publishers so I am going to get into that. These aren't in any particular order that I bought them. In fact I think I'm actually going backwards in the rate that I received them but uh yeah, it's just the way that they're stuck on the floor, but I will I will get into that. So the first uh, three books I'm going to talk about, I'm actually missing one from this order. These were placed because I had a gift card. Um, I'm still waiting on one more from this order, but I'm very excited with the three that I have right now. And that is Sappho, Stem with Love, Poems and Fragments. This is a new translation by Erin Puchigan. Um, I haven't read any or studied any Sappho. I'm really excited about this. Uh, what I like best about this, I have already started reading it. I'm like over halfway through. Um, is that it'll have the fragments and then it'll also have explanatory notes um, to go with that and the reasons for the translations and like explaining the fragments, which I'm really looking forward to. This is quite a slim volume as well. Um, it's under 100 pages. Next up is a recommendation from Jean over at Jean's Bookish Thoughts, and that is Lucretius's The Nature of Things. Um, I was having a hard time picking. I've wanted The Nature of Things for a while. I've been eyeing it. I've wanted kind of the Oxford English um, library edition, but it wasn't available in the bookshop that I was buying from because I was limited because I was using a gift card. Um, but Jean said she really liked this translation and she liked the fact that it was done in rhyming couplets so I'm really looking forward to reading this. It is translated by E.E. E. Stalling. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to digging into this because this is one that I've been eyeing for two or three years now, I want to say. I've, I've been eyeing it for quite a while. It's been on my wish list for a while. Um, next up is one that I saw in Jean's videos and knew I immediately wanted, and this is the Greek Lyric Poetry Collection, translated by M.L. West. Um, this is a bunch of various fragments and entire poems um, up until I think it's 450 BCE, um, so I'm really looking forward to digging into this. I'm not as well read in Greek poetry as I am in Greek uh, literature or in Greek uh, drama, so I'm really looking forward to digging into some Greek poetry, and I'm really grateful for Jane for giving me lots of suggestions and listening to me as I tried to make my order. Um, there is one more book in this, but it has not arrived yet, but I'm going to tell you about it really quickly. I have like my order up on my phone so I can actually read it out, um, and it is Greek fiction, Caliho Calihore, um, Daphnis and Chloe, and Letters of Cryon. Um, it is a compilation of a bunch of different ones. It is a new translation that Jean and I were both really excited about and it means I get more than one. Um, I was eyeing Daphne and Chloe for quite a while because I've heard Jean talk about it a lot on her channel but uh, yeah so I'm really excited about that. So next up are actually a few that I got from Penguin UK sent me these and I'm really excited about them. First one is absolutely beautiful and you will have seen on lots of other booktubers channels and that is Seven Brief Lessons on Physics by Carlo, Carlo Rovelli. Um, this is really shiny. Oh there's a good good look at it. Um, this is seven basically kind of short little introductions to various different principles in physics. The first one is Einstein's Theory of Relativity which I have actually read already. Um, I am no scientist. I suck at science. I basically failed it in high school, which is why I am a historian. Um, but I do think, like, I have studied the history of science, so I find this really fascinating. Um, I took a course on the history of astronomy in my first year at university, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so while I don't understand scientific theory, I do enjoy the, like, theories behind it, and, like, how the person got there, so I have already dug into this a bit, um, and I'm looking forward to finishing this. This is a beautiful book. Um, next up is one that I requested and will come as no surprise to you and that is Shirley Jackson's Let Me Tell You. Oh my god guys I'm so excited about this. Oh you know how much I love Shirley Jackson. Um, this is a collection of news stories, essays, and other writings. Um, as you guys know I'm pretty much finished with Shirley Jackson's fiction and I have started reading some of her like non-fiction that she wrote for women's magazines. Um, so this is kind of a combination of those. Um, this is a beautiful edition. I really like that it's like red underneath. I'll take off if I can't, if I don't drop the books in my lap, um, it's really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to digging into this. This is one I had on my wish list for a really long time and was like waiting for it to be published. So I'm really happy that they sent that to me. Um, next up is 
George Louis Borges um, Brody's report, which is one of his later writings. As you guys know, I'm starting to dig into Borges. Um, I don't know a lot about him. I only have one other book by him and that is The Bestiary, um, which is probably not the best place to start, so I'm really looking forward to reading these. Um, basically he like stopped writing for 20 years, apparently I'm reading this off the back, um, and then he started writing again and those are the works that are included in this uh, little volume, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, and last up I was sent The Penguin Book of the British Short Story, which is just a small selection of some of the stories that are going to be in the volumes which are going to be published in November. I'm really looking forward to these. I have these on my wish list. Um, I'm going to ask for them for Christmas, I think, because they're quite big, um, but they're beautiful. It has, in this copy, um, which is an advanced reader's copy, it has a story by Wilkie Collins, a story by H.G. Wells, a story by Rudyard Kipling, um, who else? T.H. White has a story in this, um, Elizabeth Taylor, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, it also has all the authors that are included in the full editions, um, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So I'm going to dig into this. I don't read a lot of short stories. Um, I tend to be more of a novel or novella reader, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, next up are a couple of books that were given to me by a friend. Um, lovely, lovely Rachel. Thank you. I know you don't actually watch my videos, but I'm still going to say thank you um, because these are my favorite gifts this year were, surprise, surprise, when people actually bought me gifts, or bought me, sorry, bought me books, slip of the tongue, or like got me a gift card, because um, then I could buy books, which is really thrilling. Um, so she got me Angela Carter's The Bloody Chamber in this beautiful vintage edition, which I quite love. And then she also got me uh, Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, retold by Peter Ackroyd. Um, I have read the Canterbury Tales in their original form, um, but I'm really looking forward to reading this because I've heard fantastic things about this adaptation, um, and it's also really beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm just super stoked about this. Also, I just said stoked. I don't know. Uh, next up are a few that I bought for myself. Um, as you guys know, I am collecting the Penguin Red Edition, so I bought myself a bunch of them. I realized I just left one down there. Um, so I bought as many as I could that were in stock on Amazon. So I got The Lair of the White Worm by Bram Stoker. Uh, the Spook House by Ambrose Bierce. The Haunted Doll's House by M.R. James. I love these editions, they're just stunningly designed. Uh, the Beetle by Richard Marsh. And The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, I am missing three of them at the moment. I have one on back order with Amazon that I placed with these other ones. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting all of those in my collection. Uh, a lot of them tend to be short stories. I think, as far as I can tell, The Beetle is the only actual like full length novel. The rest are all short story collections. Um, and there's a lot of authors I haven't heard bef of before. Like I obviously know Poe and I obviously know Bram Stoker, but the other three I haven't heard of before, so I'm really looking forward to digging into those. Um, the last couple in this haul are ones that were given as gifts. So the first one was a gift from my friend Cassie. Uh, she lives in Germany and we tend to send each other books for like birthdays and Christmas. We try and pick things slightly out of the others like regular wheelhouse to like, you know, read different things. Um, so she is the one who has sent me Chiamata Adichie's Half of a Yellow Sun. Um, she also is the one who got me started on Shirley Jackson. Um, so yeah, so she got me J.G. Ballard's Running Wild. Um, I have read this, this will be in my wrap up. Um, it's a detective story about basically a gated community where um, a series of murders have taken place. Definitely not my usual like reading fair, but it was different enough that it kind of attracted my interest. So yes, I will save more for the wrap up. The last three are gifts from my sister. Uh, which was quite lovely of her. She got me three books. I'm really excited about this. Also, I'm really excited because they are Penguin English Library editions and they're the old style with the rubbery covers. Uh, when she, she like, they didn't, she ordered them basically the day of my birthday and just gave me the printout. Um, and I was kind of like, oh yay, I'm really excited about these, but they're Penguin English Library and I forgot I had those on my wish list. And I hope I'm not getting the papery editions, but they're not, so I'm really excited. Uh, the first one is Humphrey Clinker by Tobias Smollett. Um, to be honest, I don't actually remember why I put these on, some of these, on my uh, wish list because one of them I know why I put it on, because it's Thomas Hardy. 
Um, but these ones I just think I put on because they looked interesting and they were Penguin English Library, so I'm really looking forward to digging into these. Uh, next up is The Mayor of Castlebridge by Thomas Hardy. Um, you guys know I'm slowly working my way through Thomas Hardy and I really, really am looking forward to this. I've been told I'm going to absolutely adore this. So yay, now I own it in a really pretty edition. Um, and the last one is Melmoth the Wanderer by Charles Maturin. Um, yeah, I think this one is one I'm really looking forward to. It's gothic fiction and it deals with psychological realism. I'm reading this off the back. But it, it basically is about the story of Melmoth, who sells his soul to the devil in a bargain for like immortality, and then he kind of wanders around and he tries to get people to like take his place in the deal with the devil. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that as well. So those are the books I bought slash received in September, um, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!